So today we're gonna to be talking everything to do with valves, how to replace a valve, how to repair a valve, how to find a leak in a valve, and so on. Um, occasionally, if you notice extra air loss out of a particular chamber, it is good to grab your soapy water, which we have here today. And, and what we do is we spray around the valve area we spray inside the valve body itself. And what we're trying to do is identify a leak. So what we have here today for this particular job is I have a new valve. Um, whether we need that or, or not, it, it's nice to have while we're doing this. I also have a valve tool. Now the valve tool is found in your repair kit, which came with your boat. We also carry spare valves here at Stryker. Um, as well as a marine silicone. Now this is a marine silicone, it is not a silicone adhesive and we would, we cannot recommend a silicone adhesive because you may never get your valve out after applying it. So we always want this to be a manageable project for anyone, so just a straight silicone is what we use for this job. And then to, to find and identify a leak, we want to have soapy water. Now this can be in a, in a larger weed sprayer or for a small application like this, just um, a conventional easy sprayer does the job. So what this is, is you, you fill it full of warm water and put a drop or two of dish soap or hand soap in there and, and give it a good shake. And that's gonna give you the consistency that we're looking for to identify a leak. This is what we're looking at. Now we're not gonna see all of these parts. So inside of the boat hull itself is gonna be the backing for a valve. Now these are what's called a Hulky Roberts quarter turn valve. The part we're looking at is this right here. So it has the valve, it's got the valve stem, there's a spring. And now how that spring works and for the opening close is you, you push it in and you turn it a quarter turn and what it does is it locks that valve open and allows the air to flow freely. So when we close that, it snaps shut. And so when we're using the boat, we have it in just the snap shut position. As soon as we take the pump off, that valve will snap shut and prevent any air from coming out of the boat. Now, occasionally through normal use of the boat, this valve can just back off its threads a little bit and that's what we're gonna be identifying today and we're gonna be fixing. The other issue is over time is these components, these are wear items and these can wear out over time. So um, replacing a valve is, is a common maintenance item and it's, it's very straightforward to do. So right now we'll just give the valve a spray. Now, as you can see, we, we don't have any leaks here today. So what this is gonna look like is you're gonna pump the boat up and over the course of three or four hours, you're gonna be losing air. And, and to identify that is you're gonna do the soapy water and you're gonna look for bubbles similar to this right here. So this is something that we're gonna to wanna to correct. Often you can come in with just your valve tool and you can give that a tighten just enough that, that you are gonna stop, you are going to stop those bubbles and correct the situation. So what we've done right there is we have corrected this valve leaking issue. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to show you how to remove a valve completely. So I'm gonna push it in and turn it a quarter turn and I'm going to allow all the air out of this chamber. want to get enough air out that allows us to get our hand up behind and hold that valve backing inside of the boat. And what, I, what I'm referring to by the valve backing, this is the piece inside the boat. Now this is not attached to anything inside of the boat. So whenever you're completely disassembling a valve, you need to make sure that this does not fall into the tube. Now, if it does, it's you can manipulate the boat and you can get this back. What I like to do is I like to get my hand tucked up behind the fabric, behind that valve, and I hold it for the disassembly of this valve. So I'm gonna go up through the outside of the tube, so completely on the other side. And what I'm doing is I'm making a little pocket so that that valve backing 
cannot fall. And as soon as you kind of start getting that, you can, you can use the string. Now you want to be careful, of course, that you don't break the string, but we're almost out now. So when that starts coming out, you want to be careful. Now I'm holding that in the back and that's not going to fall at all. So one thing you can do is you can clean up these edges. You run it. There's a small bead around there. Around the bottom of these threads here. And you can do this by yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna line this up, center it as best as possible. Okay, then I'm gonna grab my valve. Now I like to use the string to assist So after I've tightened that up in there, I'm gonna clean up the excess silicone that we may. So what we're gonna do now is we can let this silicone set overnight or we can fill it up. In this case, we're gonna show you guys, um, we're just gonna fill it up and, and recheck for a, a leak. <sighs> So now, now that we have the boat back up to full pressure, we're gonna check our work and see if we have any leak. So having a quick look at the valve, we have no leaks. We have a brand new valve in place and everything's ready to go.